Hi everyone, my name is Christina and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today is gonna be a story time because I have a story to tell you. Let's get into this makeup. I'll drop all of the products that I'm using in the description down below. Also, if you're new to this channel, make sure that you subscribe if you like this content, if you like what I'm doing over here, if you like my makeup, if you want to learn more from me, if you like my stories, I don't know. Subscribe. So, if you are new to this channel, I am a beauty blogger, influencer, content creator. I just like to be beautiful every day because for a long time, a lot of people told me that I couldn't be beautiful, so now I do it for a living. <laughs> Let me tell y'all this story. Let's just get into this. Okay. So last year, it was last year, yeah. Last year around like July, um, I got a call. Okay, so let me let's let's start from let's start from the beginning, beginning, the the root of where it all started. So there is this amazing show on Netflix that I absolutely love. I'm really into game shows like I watch a lot of game shows and I really just feel like I would be good on a game show I applied to be on a TV show like thank you God so I saw the show and I really liked the show so I applied for it because I do see myself as being a TV personality I've always like admired TV personalities growing up so I just always wanted to be a TV personality. I thought I would be so amazing for it because I'm um, bubbly, you know? I like to have a good time. And I just thought I would be a good- Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Sorry, this is my hot cold, okay? And you know these things burn. So, um, wow, okay. Mm. <laughs> okay. So, back to the story. So yeah, I thought I would be an amazing contestant for this show. So I applied for it and I was just waiting, waiting, y'all. Like, I was waiting. To be honest, I forgot about it. Like, I just was like, I left it to God. I was just like, you know, if this is for me, it'll be for me. I truly, truly believed that they would reach out to me because I really felt like I was going to be a great contender for it. Like, I was just, I was just confident in myself. And... You know, as I should. You should be confident in yourself at all times. Boom. They reached out to me like, okay. <laughs> I was at the mall shopping with my niece and Anaya, my daughter. And I got a call and they're like, hi, is this Christina? I'm like, yes. And they're like, this is so-and-so from the show. So-and-so. And I was like, ah! Like, no, I was so excited. Like, God. I just honestly I just thank God instantly in my head because he knew how much I wanted this I was so excited he called and he's just like hi my name is so-and-so and I was just like oh my god I love you because you're about to make my dreams come true so got the call so excited so at the time I was dealing with a lot um, Lamar's mother which is Lamar's my fiance his mother was actually in the hospital at the time she was in a coma and it was a lot going on i was super excited but at the same time like i had to be there for lamar and his family it was a lot at the time and i ultimately just had to put my game face on somehow some way and i just i went for it right so he tells me this is what you need um, to be successful like um, you know for the interview because they were gonna interview me told me all the days that I was gonna travel out if you know I was selected and um, I was excited like I was so excited this is what I've always wanted but I was just like why right now <laughs> why right now right, I'm gonna have to turn on the air conditioning it's gonna make some background noise but I have no choice I was thinking about you know what I wanted to how I wanted to answer the questions because they did send me all the questions ahead of time which was great so because I had time to really think about the question I did my hair and I'm gonna drop <laughs> I'm gonna drop um, a clip of what I was looking like that day and I'm gonna just drop it okay guys so 15 minutes away from the interview I'm feeling sleepy, which is terrible because I'm supposed to have a lot of energy. <laughs> so I'm about to go chug a whole thing of orange juice. Um, but I'm excited. So I'm so excited. I want this bad. 
I want this pretty bad. Yep. And I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it! <laughs> Just hope they like me. Should I be early? Should I be late? Definitely not late. Okay, bye. I got ready for this, uh, like, this audition. It was gonna be Zoom. I was so excited. Tell me why the producer was black. Like, she was black. I was even more excited. I was like, okay, this is my girl. This is my sis. Like, this is, we're gonna connect. Like, this is gonna be so great. <laughs> you know, she asked me a whole bunch of questions. And I told her um, a lot about my life. You know, she asked me a lot of questions like growing up. Like, you know, how are you growing up? Um, how would you describe yourself? And I told her that um, I grew up in an African household. My parents were pretty strict. Um, but I'll, I was always like a wild child. I still did what I wanted to do. But at the same time, I tried to still appease my parents. I mean, my like African parents, you still somehow have to make them proud so you're not an embarrassment. You know what I'm saying? Uh, maybe I didn't put it like that, but anyways. Answered all her questions. To be honest with you, I really felt like I could have given more. Like after the interview, I wasn't feeling confident. I wasn't feeling confident because I literally went into the bathroom and I looked at my makeup. My makeup was cute, but my hair, I wasn't feeling it. I wasn't feeling confident. I wasn't feeling myself. I normally, like if I'm feeling really confident in myself, I'm like, yes, I got it, like honestly. And that's how I felt when I was applying for the show. I was like, I know I would be such an amazing fit for this show, like they need me because my energy is there. Um, you know, I, I fit the criteria for the, the type of show. Um, I reached out to the other producer who first called me and told me that I was, you know, gonna have an interview. And um, I told him like, yeah, uh, I just had the interview. I thought it went pretty well. You know, still trying to hold hold on to faith because at the time I really did not feel confident at all. And he was like, "Yeah, we'll let you know within maybe I think he said like, with, I don't know. He said maybe like four or five weeks or something like that. I really don't know." So my paranoid ass, like, yo, I'm paranoid, right? I went on Instagram and I looked up the girl who interviewed me. Found her Instagram. I was like, should I even do? Should I follow her because I don't want her to think. I'm being desperate, but at that same time, I was like, no, I'm, I'm desperate because I, I want this so bad. So I reached out to her and I was just like, hey, you know, just wanted to know how, you know, I, the interview went, you know, like, you know, do you think, you know, I have a chance? And then, yo, I have to look back at the messages because I don't remember if she told me in the messages that I didn't make it. <laughs> Y'all, I wanted to cry so bad, but I already knew like, okay, yeah, you know what? I didn't do, I wasn't myself. I didn't, I wasn't me at the time. I was going through a lot. And I, I wish, you know, it would have came at a different time in my life, but I went for it and I'm really happy I did because at least I know they saw something, you know, they saw something. I just, um, I just probably didn't give them the answers that they wanted at the time and I knew that already. So anyways, I find out the other producer who originally called me also reached out to me and tells me, you know, yeah, Netflix didn't pick you up. And I was like, it's okay, you know, ultimately what's for me is for me. If they didn't pick me up, cool, right? You know, life goes on. Yeah, so life went on. <laughs> I was sad for a long time. I was sad. I was sad for a while, like, I just had, because I envisioned everything, I envisioned winning the show, I envisioned getting the call, I envisioned getting the audition and, and wowing her, and like wowing the producers, I envisioned all of that and it didn't come true the way I wanted it to, but God knows why it didn't happen at that time, only God knows, right? And who am I to question God? Yeah, I moved on with my life. And um, I haven't given up on it yet. I haven't given up on it. Um, it, it does sadden me now every time I watch the show because I'm like, oh, I had such a chance. Like, I was so close. I was, y'all, I was so close. Like, imagine I 
saw myself winning. I saw myself being amazing on the show. I really still believe that I could still win that show. And I'm still hopeful that I maybe will get a call, you know, in the future. Um, that's why I'm not going to mention the show. But, um, yeah, I'm still hopeful. It just made me feel so good when I got the original call. Like, okay. Honestly, y'all, like, my heart was over the moon because this was something I wanted more than anything. And it just also let me know that I'm doing something right in terms of how I'm, like, manifesting my life because the things that I really want I put so much energy into it and I realized that I didn't get the show at a time where my energy was somewhere else my my energy was with my partner with my my fiance which is fine I will never ever say it was because of him I didn't get it or if you no, never I just feel like God knew why that wasn't the right time you know maybe I need I needed to be you know with my fiance he was you know losing his mother at the time so I really feel like it wasn't the time so I had to just quickly do my eye makeup because hello Ooh, she's looking cute I'm getting ready for a bridal shower um, one of my close friends so yeah, I'm excited to go hang out with her um, for her big day but back to the story I didn't get it y'all <laughs> I did not get it it was so heartbreaking though because I wanted it so bad. I wanted it so bad, but y'all, it just was not the best time. It wasn't the best time. So um, I had to let it go. I had to let go of the pain because it was pain. I was hurting so bad for a while. And um, it, it stopped me from like creating content. I was kind of like in a really down place. Didn't talk to anyone really like, I was, I was a little bit depressed for a little while like I literally did not go anywhere I was in the house I wasn't motivated to do anything because my biggest dream like just fell through the cracks y'all it was hard as hell at the time it was so hard it was so so hard to just let go of that but I had to I had to let go because life goes on right life goes on and opportunities were going to come anyway. And they did! <laughs> got casted for something else. Oh my god, I did not put blush. And I freaking put on my... Um, yeah, so I did get casted for something else though. And I can't wait for y'all to see what it is. I cannot talk about it, obviously. Just signed a contract. <laughs> But um, I cannot wait for y'all to actually see what, you know, what I was casted on. And I still pray to God that I do get, you know, casted on the original show that I really, really wanted to be on. Because I feel like I would be a great TV personality. I just, I feel it in my heart. I feel it in my heart and my soul. That I would be good on TV. You know what I mean? So yeah. Alright. <laughs> okay y'all, thank you so much for listening to my story. Basically, the moral of the story is to always be yourself no matter what, even if you are in the lowest, lowest, lowest parts of yourself at the time. Always be yourself, always follow your dreams no matter how far they seem, chase them because you never know where it's gonna take you and you can achieve absolutely anything if you believe in yourself. Trust me, you can. Even if you get an opportunity that you've always wanted and you lose it, that doesn't mean another opportunity will not come. That doesn't mean you should lose yourself. Don't fall into depression, just keep working because another door is gonna, end, uh, is gonna open. Trust in God, trust in yourself. <laughs> if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please leave any comments if you would like to chat with me. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you like my content, if you would like to see more from me, and if you would like to support a small growing YouTuber, I'm here for ya. Please subscribe. <laughs> anyways, thanks again for watching. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.